So what are we going to talk about today? Um, these, this webinar is going to look at uh, a number of factors surrounding the public interest test. Firstly, the mechanics of the decision to prosecute. We're going to look in a bit of detail at Code for Crown Prosecutors, the HSC Enforcement Policy Statement and Enforcement Management Model. We're then going to look at the public interest factors therein and um, look at, in a little bit more detail, a relevant recent case that looks at decisions to prosecute specifically in relation to public interest. So who decides? Well, fundamentally, my view is, well, well it's an individual and um, decision about whether a prosecution is in the public interest is made by an individual. It might be also um, looked at by another individual. For example, it might be an HSC inspector who looks at it and then a, a principal inspector who might consider whether that view is, is the right view um, in their mind, or it might be uh, a lawyer looking at it. As I said, it could be an inspector, it could be a lawyer, it could be a local authority lawyer, it could be an environmental health officer. But essentially, it's an individual balancing competing factors and naturally exercising his or her judgment. I've then set out for you um, the grounds upon um, that, that can be relied upon for judicial review. And there are four. Firstly, that it was illegal where the decision makers misdirected themselves as to the law, exercised a power wrongly or improperly purport to exercise a power that it doesn't have, i.e. acting ultra virus. Secondly is where the decision is irrational. Um, the decision may be challenged as un unreasonable if it's so unreasonable that no reasonable authority could ever have come to it. So again, not just that you don't agree with it, not just that you don't think it was the right decision, not that not that you think it was a little bit unreasonable, but, but that it was so unreasonable that no reasonable authority could ever have come to it. So an extremely high bar 